Baba Booey. The next car we have is Kyle's 6N2. Now this one, again, looks a bit on the safe side, looks a bit interesting, it looks really cool nonetheless, and it's lowered, it's on some nice Japan Racing wheels, rep Japan Racing. But there's something a bit quirky and a bit different about this one. It has a 1.8T 20 valve turbo swapped in this one, 271 brake horsepower at the minute, that's what I've been given, and now that is tremendous power now that my polo has about 40 on a good day 271 you all must be mad that is absolutely incredible now i don't have any videos of it i don't hear what it sounds like so i'm just gonna have to take word for it but again it is really really sick now the color is a bit of a basic one but it is a bit it's a bit metallic, so I do really appreciate the metallic look. Metallic is just better. Put on a t-shirt or something. You like the what you've done to it, and the angel eyes as well is really, really sick. And the fog lights are yellow. You've got blue and yellow. That's brilliant. So you've inspired me to put some yellow fog lights on mine. So thank you for getting me to spend more money. So good job. Next, we have Michael's Red 6N. Now, again, it's a three-door. Everyone getting a three-door. But because it had the eight valve bumpers before in a couple of the pictures, but now it has 16 valve ones and is color matched yet and it does look really, really cool. I do like what you've done. The wheels, very nice. wheels for me are, obviously they're BBS and they're really, really nice. But to me, I'm not a huge fan of that look of wheel. Obviously it's yours, it's your personal preference. It looks really cool, but to me, it's not my thing. And at least you haven't spoiled it and put wind deflectors on it. Have you? Have you? You have! Oh no, Michael, what have you done? You put, oh. I was gonna say there's not much more I can row. If the wheels that you can see now are on the screen, then I really like those compared to the BBS ones. They look really, really cool. And yeah, it looks really sick, apart from the wind deflectors. Why, why, you, why did you do that? Why? <laughs> why? You're in an eight valve polo. You're not gonna be going quick enough for wind deflectors to actually do anything. But yeah, sorry, sorry, it's it's just me. But yeah, it looks really cool in red again. I do like polos in red. I think they look sick. But but again, thank you very much, Michael, for submitting your polo. Good job. Next, we have a Mark II polo. It is from 1990. It is a one liter four speed, and it is a really really cool color. I do like that. It's like a shooting brake sort of polo. Mark II F. Don't know if that means anything. But yeah, thank you to at mark 2 f underscore polo underscore underscore. So again, it looks really, really sick. I like the wheels that you have on there. They look really, really cool. I need to stop saying really, but everyone has a really cool car. But yeah, it is a very interesting color. I do really like that. And you have a wooden steering wheel, points for effort. And yeah, it's just a bit stock, it's a bit basic. And you have different wheels to the front and the back. I'm not, I'm not asking. You might go drifting. Who knows? You might be a hoon. I do like the Mark IIs. They look sick. So yeah, interesting color nonetheless. Good job. Next we have at Mark Three underscore Six N. How you got that Instagram handle? I don't know. Well done. But this is a five door. It's a five door Six N Polo. Now it is a bit of a quirky one. It has some features I do like. Five doors and some features I don't like. Wind deflectors. Why? And it has an open air. It's an open air. That's brilliant. That's sick. I wanted to get an open air for mine, but I can't bother. But again, I like the clear indicators. I do like the way that clears look on the front of this car. I'm not sure what you did with the badge. I'm not sure what was going through your head then. That yellow with that green, I'm not too sure. Just polo. It's got wind deflectors and it has green side indicators. You're doing so well. Your wheels. Mm, they look good. I like them. They, look, they they suit the car. It's a bit quirky, bit of a quirky one, a bit safe, but again, it does look really, really sick. So well done to at Mark 36N for submitting your car. Next we have Toby, the one litre shit box. Now this was bought for him by his dad and yeah, good on you. It looks really, really cool. Um, it's got a lot of lack appeal, a massive dent on the roof when a tile hit it off his uh, roof, Jesus. But yeah, 
and it does look really really cool and he hopes to be getting an AGU swap in it at some point so that again is really sick so good luck on that and now other than that I do really like it I do really like the way this looks the wheels are sick the stance on it is really nice the red I do really like this red that is really really cool I don't know what you're thinking with the rear wiper delete that is the bodgiest rear wiper delete I have ever seen that is terrible and the fact that it's three door sorry but again it's cool it, it has it has characteristics it has features that obviously you like and i like it too it's really cool but yeah good on you thank you for submitting it at mr 6n polo toby toby's the name of the car not the person next we have ollie's six and two he has a bag six and two gti out he's six and two he's recently done a color He's done a respray. He's done a colour. He's done a respray in a really, really nice purple. I really do dig it. Apart from the wheels, I'm sorry, I don't like those wheels. I'm gonna upset a lot of people. I'm not a fan of the TSW Venom, whatever they're called. I like the grill. I don't know where you've got that from. It looks a bit like a blue motion one yeah, that you've done yourself. It looks really sick. And then the steering wheel again looks really, really cool. Ghetto works. Works. Yeah, I can tell. But yeah, it does look really, really sick. I like the red interior. It goes really well with the purple exterior. And ooh, points for effort, but those points have just been deducted by the fact that you have wing deflectors. Next, we have at Pearly White 6 and Now, I have a list for this one. It is on John Blue Line Coilovers. Props, same over here. Sportix Exhaust, same over here. 6 and 2 LED realized white P slots, 6 by 9s in the rear parcel shelf, along with a Mac audio subwoofer. So you like your banging tunes, Perla. You haven't ruined it with my deflectors, well done. And yeah, I do really like it. It's in a very clean white. It, is a, it looks like the fitment needs sorting out, but the wheels are cool. They're like a, a classic rally look kind of wheel. But yeah. It looks like a good work in progress build and I, I do like it. You've not done a dodgy rear wiper delete. I think I'd personally remove the rear, rear, <laughs> the rear wiper. I'd wait for the um, new rear wiper delete that Killer Wipers is bringing out or just get the 3D model one off eBay. I'd wait, they look really, really cool. But yeah, I really, really like what you've done and go head over and follow at Pearly White 6 n He's done a good job, so. Head over and check his car out. Next we have at 6 underscore n underscore rob92. Now, this is a 6n1. Tinted hella rear lights. It is a 16 valve. It's got the ABT front grille. Looks like a Sportix exhaust as well. And the fitment is pretty much spot on. I really, really like that fitment. I don't like it too slammed because obviously, I don't know if you daily this, but I, again, I like the yellow accents, the black on yellow. Is it black? It's like a black or like a dark gray. And uh, that is really cool. The Huffle Off Loffle um, headlight covers. That is really cool also. It looks to be headlight washers. Now, I don't know what that's off, whether that was a feature, I have no idea, but it looks cool. And yeah, there's not much else. It's a really clean polo. And if I have to say one negative thing about it, you've got wing deflectors. That's terrible, but I do like the spoiler. So good job on getting a spoiler on. So thank you to at 6 rob underscore 92 underscore underscore underscore. Next, we have an interesting one. We have one from at slammed Ted. Really, really like what you've done to this. It is a three series touring. I think it's a tour and they're still called that. I don't know. It's an estate. It's a three series. It looks really, really cool. And it has a big fuck off wang. So yeah, props to that wing. That is really sick. That is mounted to the stock wang and the rear tailgate. That's cool. Obviously this is on bags. And yeah, I do really like that. There's one that you view in Paris. Good job. Uh, yeah, the decals, I'm not too sure but maybe a few more dark patches on the back would have brought it together a tiny bit more personally but obviously this is sick i could never build something like this and i really really do like the color that you've put on this and the yellow calipers that's amazing i really want yellow calipers too i'm quite jealous frankly this is really sick what would finish this off i think that would make it look really really cool is roof bars 
personally or one of those big roof boxes that goes over to the rear wing i think personally that would set this car and that would just finish it complete it personally i think that looks really that would look really really cool i do like roof bars and boxes but yeah at slam underscore ted thank you very much for your submission next we have at that underscore underscore ratty polo now this is another mark ii polo this is the polo genesis in this silver it looks really really nice with those wheels really sets it apart again it does look fairly standard apart from maybe the blacked out grille and whatever on earth is on those windows why have you got trellis on your windows are you all right sorry are you actually all right why have you got trellis on your windows that just looks weird apart from that Good job, well done. So you're definitely not at the top of the list because you've got trellis on your car. But again, I do really like the shoe and bright look of these little cars. So yeah, looks really, really cool. So good job at that Ray Polo. Next on our list, we have at unknown stance, something, something, something. And it is, I'm not joking, this is the nicest color on this entire list. It's just a shame it's a three door but this is such a beautiful color it's like the holes on my t-shirt it's really sick and i like the fact that you've matched the um head cover to it the hloffle 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 headlight covers and the tinted indicators not too sure about but obviously it's personal preference it looks really really sick all i have is this one picture which is a shame i'd love to see what the back looks like and it looks it's got 16 valve bumpers but the engine bay is a eight valve it appears to be i can't really tell from this angle could be a 16 but i'm pretty sure that's an eight but again it looks really cool and i really really admire that color and the white wheel combo that is something that i aspire to have at some point like a different sort of green and a white wheel combination i do really like that so thank you to at unknown stands for submitting your car it is really cool I, I can't really roast it apart from the fact that you haven't matched the side indicators maybe dark them out as well or clear them just to like tie the whole thing together but well done for not putting wind deflectors on props to you my good sir next we have at underscore deselect right now deselect did send me a description of his cars now i got this after i was editing so this will be added post edit so his polo 6n2 is a 1.4 with all the gti extras the splitter the spoiler with the bmw 16 inch wheels with black headliner and interior pillars but then his mark one leon is a cupra 1.8 20 valve with a front mounted intercooler bam style setup with an air intake a decat fully stripped out with bucket seats and a k brace with a forged diverter valve and soon to be running around 300 horsepower with a k300 turbo so yeah it's pretty interesting and thank you for sending me in a list of what your car has it helps the video out a lot and to polo with wind deflectors and it has some fucking gnarly bmw rims looks really really sick i can't really do much to argue with that sayan is really cool it's got a really big engine so yeah good job on that i don't know why your bumper looks like it's hanging off you've got a wind deflector so i understand yeah thank you for submitting at underscore deselect it is really really cool and i really admire that engine bay that is really clean looks really nice next we have ben's 16 valve now we don't have an instagram for this one but he submitted it over on facebook now this is a really cool dark blue 16 valve 6n i do really like what you've done to that the dark blue i'm not sure about the uh, bonnet vents not too sure on that now again you could get the clear indicators on the side to match the front that would look really cool and then the white wheels good on you sir i really appreciate that i really really rate that and then we have a video of what it sounds like Mm, sounds nice but yeah nonetheless it does sound really really nice so well done and thank you for ben 16 valves for submitting it now we are going to go over this one now there's nothing else to say it's got an audi 4.2 liter v8 in it and an end and a gearbox from a golf this is amazing all i really have is this picture followed by this video now all i need to say is just give it a listen just listen to this
That is beautiful, you have to admit, that is amazing. That is just simply amazing. For Lindsay, for submitting your Audi V8 Polo, that is amazing. So good on you, oh, I couldn't have done that, that's actually amazing. Looks like you could maybe start modding it a bit uh, visually, but engine wise, that is props to you, that is incredible. And this last submission, all I got was this one picture, it is a bit blurry, so I apologize for that, but it is Richard's Harlequin. Now, this is really cool. Now, for one, I do believe it is a Harlequin. Now, I could be mistaken, but it does look correct, the color order. Now, I'll put a picture on the screen of what the colors of the Harlequin is, just it looks really cool. The fact that you've kept it semi-standard as well means that this is gonna be worth a lot in the coming future because as these get rarer and get molested this is like a really clean example it looks really clean on the exterior don't know about interior and engine wise but i'm assuming this probably hasn't gone very far and yeah it's probably like a little garage queen it is really cool and i really do like the harlequin it looks sick and this color combination especially i think is my favorite i do like the red bumpers and the front red door so props to you for managing to find this so well done and thank you to richard for submitting your harley kim so i just want to say again thank you very much everyone for submitting your car now i really 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 do appreciate it now i would love to do this once a week so every tuesday we have a rate your ride video where i rate and rank and roast your cars so please do submit yours share this video get it out and let everyone know that I would really, really love to roast and rate all of your cars. I'll try and roast a bit more as I get a bit more confident, not want to get bullied as much. But yeah, I'm sorry. Your cars are cool. Everyone's car who submitted it, I really do like every single one of them, apart from yours, Adam. But again, they are really cool. So again, props and thank you to everyone who submitted their car. Now, as promised, I do have a favorite. I'm sorry, I just have to go for Lindsay's 4.2 liter Audi V8 Polo. That is just amazing. How could you not like that? So if you argue with that, you're just wrong. But again, this is amazing. So let's just listen to what that sounds like one last time. Oh, go on, one more time, one more time, one more time. You have won a good thumbs up for putting a V8 in a polo. Obviously, this isn't a competition, it's just a video. So again, thank you for your submission and it's amazing. I can't I can't say anything about it. It's so cool. Thank you very much for your submission. And again, one last time, thank you to all of you for sending it in. Now, if you had near the top spot now, don't worry. Everyone else is in second place. So just think about that. So thank you very much for watching. I do really, really appreciate it. I want to do this a lot more often. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below. I wanna see everyone who submitted, please comment. That would mean the world to me. Help out the algorithm and boost me up on those YouTube views. So thank you very much for watching. Have a brilliant rest of your day. And until then, peace and thank you all.